Breaking news. Gunmen abduct military woman, two others, on Ijebode Ibadan Expressway. Boko Haram attacks Medigri, kills three Nigerian soldiers. As another soldier fighting Boko Haram commits suicide in Borono. We welcome you once again to our news channel. If you are new here or one of our intended subscribers, please waste no time. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for subsequent notification updates as we thank all our returning subscribers. May God bless you. Now the news and details. Barely four days after the Oyo State Police Command rescued four victims abducted on a Baroni Jebode road, government again on Monday abducted three women at Onipe community in the I in the Idi Ayure area of Ibadan, or your state capital. The government emerged from the bush around 8.20 a.m. and shot indiscriminately before taking the victims away to an unknown destination. The victims were identified as Mrs. Okenwo, Mrs. Aboshede Adebayo, and Mrs. Bola Oguride. Mrs. Oguride, a military officer, was said to have been driving a Toyota RAV4 with registration number AGL66FY before she was abducted. Two main names withheld later lodged the report on the kidnap incident at ED Ayure Division by, 8 a, by 10 a.m. rather. Recently, kidnappers have carried out three different operations on a Baroni Jebode expressway. On Tuesday, April 6, three quarry site workers and a female commuter were kidnapped on the road. Earlier on March 15, kidnappers struck at Ibuzo Buru, close to Dali Junction, by a quarry site and abducted two bank officials two commuters and a palm wine tapper. Police Public Relations Officer in the state, DSP Adewale Osifeso, confirmed the recent incident when contacted. Osifeso said the combined team of AKS, EDIA Yungre Division, other tactical teams as well as local hunters and vigilante group has been actively on the trail of the gunmen. In a related development, Boko Haram attacks Medigree kills three Nigerian soldiers. Boko Haram terrorists during the weekend attacked Molai General Area of Medigree, capital of Borno State, killing three soldiers. Multiple sources told Sarah reporters. The insurgents in a military camouflage gun truck stormed the area around 8 p.m. on Saturday, shooting sporadically. They also made an attempt to overrun a military formation located within the area, as I said. According to a coroner, we lost three soldiers during a shootout with the terrorists. I was told there were casualties from their end as well, said a coroner. Boko Haram and its offshoots, Islamic State West African province, have killed thousands and displaced millions in northeast Nigeria. The Nigerian military has repeatedly claimed that the insurgency have been largely defeated and is frequently underplays any losers, and it frequently underplays any losses. In the past month, soldiers have been targeted by the insurgents, hundreds of soldiers and officials. Hundreds of soldiers and officers have been reportedly killed since January 2021. At least 33 soldiers were recently killed when two explosives laden vehicles rammed into a military convoy in Wugo. The suicide bombers were identified as Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr al Sadiq and Bana Jundala. The group also claimed four military vehicles were destroyed. Why don't Nigerian soldiers or Nigerian military? Publish the names of soldiers killed in Borono State or the names of soldiers killed by Boko Haram. But when any soldier is alleged to have been killed anywhere around Benue or in the southern region, 
they will quickly publish the names of the soldiers and term them Christians. Whether they normally go and bring the dead bodies of those killed in Bruno State and swap it with the ones killed this side and, and tell us that there are Christians or there are some of our brothers. That is what they do to create ethnic tensions. In February alone, about 20 soldiers were killed in Malare, Borno State by the insurgents. Media gathered that the soldiers were on patrol to clear some Boko Haram elements in the area following a credible intelligence when they were ambushed by the group and had all of them killed. Meanwhile, as if these killings of soldiers were not enough or the soldiers have died are not enough, another soldier fighting Boko Haram in Borno State has just been confirmed deaths by act of what? Suicide. A soldier identified as Kila Jima fighting Boko Haram insurgents in the northeast has reportedly killed himself. The soldier, a corporal, a corporal in the Army's 152 Battalion, Banki, was said to have suddenly cocked his rifle and shot himself in the head. Who knows what he's been you know, going through? The other day, a group of soldiers resigned just last week, citing you know, starvation as the reasons for their resignation, that they've been fighting Boko Haram over there, and they've not been the federal government and the Nigerian army haven't been feeding them and they are even so lucky that they have not shot them because sometimes they gang up against them and conspiratorially shoot some of the southern soldiers and shoot them dead the incident happened on sunday it is not yet clear what led the soldier to kill himself he was said to have shown some signs of depression before he eventually took his life the media gathered that his body has been deposited at a military mortuary in Meduguri. Something causes a depression, it doesn't just come. And I believe the reason wouldn't be far from what is going through over there in Borono State or at the Boko Haram battlefield. But I wish the soldier weighed the option of resignation. He should have resigned instead of him killing himself, taking his own life. That is unfair. I normally tell people that commit suicide that they are the most selfish human beings on earth. You, 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 you've concluded that your life has no meaning, that there is no any hope again for you on earth. What about those around you? What about your loved ones? What about your wife, your mother, your, you know, your father? There are some of your loved ones that if anything happens to you today, before you know it, they will be the first to get to the world beyond before you even get there. They will be the first to even die. And get to the other side of the you know world before you even join them the best he could have done was just to resign his work what is there i mean resign and let your life be complete for you if you have other family matters to contend with then you go and face it and by god's grace you should be able to overcome them having known that at least your heart your mind is now concentrated on one side you are no more thinking of how to maneuver Boko Haram or how to dodge, you know, being killed. Thank you guys for watching. That is how we see it. Please do wait to drop your comments in the comment section. And please subscribe before you go. Thank you. Thank you.